the Ninja World. Fighting, learning Jiu-Jitsu, learning new techniques, learning about ourselves. This is Naruto. This is our Nindo. Our Ninja Way. And soon, we'll encounter another force. A force we've never encountered before. But it's okay. Because we keep trying and proving that even the most unlikely source Sheer work and determination. Even a weak ninja, a seemingly weak ninja, or a weak young lad like Gohan can defeat the Almighty Sim. That's our ninja. We keep trying. We never give up. That's our ninja way. This is Let's Play Naruto Ninja Storm 2. By me, Lemon 14. Hell yeah. How was that for a flippin' epic intro? Alright. Oops, wait, wait, wait. First of all. Uh nope. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Uh <laughs> I did all that epic intro and then hang on. Uh yes. Did all that. Forgot. Um, let's go back to the title. I kind of forgot that. Uh, yeah, I. Re I. Good thing I remember this now because this does save us some time as far as the uh, the right profile. <laughs> Usually I always go with soccer ball flood, but uh, yeah, yeah, this is this one. So. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right, there we go. And now we get this. There we go. Ha! Ah, I remembered. I saved us about, you know, five or ten minutes, guys, as far as switching the profiles. Oh, uh, yeah, last time we uh, completed Chapter 1. Yeah, the main thing that happened was uh, I criticized Kakashi for not using the Sharingan to copy the uh, reanimation in Jutsu, you know, or, you know, never using it before or after that point. But, uh, yeah, anyway, we head on. Um, yeah, so having recaptured Kazakage, Naruto and company rest for a short while. Yeah, so I don't expect too much to happen in terms of storyline. Um, also, I did cut, I miss, um, like, one, like, some slight dialogue upon Naruto's return. But, you know, it's mainly just kind of, you know, nothing too important. If it was too important, I would have included it. But there was a little slight dialogue here between Naruto and Sakura upon our return. But, yeah, you know, we're just back to the main story. So, yeah, eh, quite a show. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, we're basically just going to go around here and talk to people. And, uh, you know, get a few items, you know, whatever. All right, I think I'll go home first and get my luggage taken care of. All right, see you, Sakura. <laughs> you sure are energetic. What I wouldn't give for that youth, of course. All right, guys. Gosh. Aw, oh, man. And the one thing I'm going to miss about this mission we just went on is uh, having, you know, oh, my guy, and, you know, the power of a youth. Step right up. Uh, now, there may be some new things you can put in for the order list, so I'm just going to check. Yeah, you can. So now you can put in for this the Wa... Wara Bi Mochi set. So, for this you just need one flower nectar, one warabi, and soybean. So yeah, we can deliver this. There we go, and now we can purchase that. And what this does for the bentos is, uh, yeah, chaka consumption reduced in the next battle. So, you know what, let's just buy, you know, we don't have any of these, so let's just buy a couple of each bentos. All right. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. Thanks. But yeah, we're just going to like stock up on items, talk to people, you know, just kind of, you know, uh, the, the next mission we have is to obviously return to the, uh, Hokage, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, I have to go get a mission from Marimal, like Naruto said right there, so, but, you know, yeah, we're just gonna, you know, head back in, oh, what's this, there's a, uh, request right here, so, yeah, let's do it. Ah, uh, where'd she get to? Oh, what's this? Something wrong? Yeah. Oh. Oh, um, I just, uh, took my eyes off my child for a moment, and she went off somewhere. Oh, no, a missing child. We'll help. Leave it to me. A lost kid. That's tough. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. This is a, you know, uh, 
mission request? Uh, yeah, a certain mother who's searching for a child, help her search and get the child by. You know, this is kind of perfect because I kind of do want to just... Okay, I'll find out. Lost kid for you. Alright, Naruto. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, just describe her for me. Uh, oh, okay. I'll tell you what she looks like. I guess I should pay attention to this. A little girl with brown hair and is tied up in butts today. I think she's wearing orange clothes. Okay, so orange clothes, hair tied up in a bun. Uh, yeah, right, right. Uh, brown hair. Okay. Uh, all right. All right, so there we go. New mission. And, you know, like I said, guys, I was really just planning on, you know, going around, talking to people, you know, see what's changed in the village anyway. Collect items along my way, so. But now that we've got this search mission, uh, yeah, you know, we'll basically just talk to every person we see and see if they've seen the missing girl. Hey, Mike, yeah. Uh, didn't you fight in the, yeah, your name escapes me, but I suspect we've met before. And as you saw with the, uh, you know, <laughs> with Kisami, he's like, uh, it's no good. I can't remember. You know, guy's pretty bad with that remembering. Uh, not only people's names, but other stuff. So, <laughs> it's kind of a running anime joke. Wait, when I took the tunit exam, you're the one that... No, that's not it. Uh, oh, hey, you have something that'll make a nice gift for Guy. Yeah, give Guy a ninjutsu reference book. Sure. What? A present from me? Inconceivable. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Wonderful. Thanks to your kind of gesture, I'm even more fired up than before. Ah, and we get a little heart symbol next to Guy. I wonder what that'll do. All in due time, guys. All in due time. Okay, let's just pick up some items. You know, yeah, the next few episodes will be kind of slow. You know, kind of, you know, just kind of, you know, I mean, especially compared to the last, you know, boss battle, you know. We're not getting in something that exciting again for that money. quite a while, you know. Just, just a little more, you know. Uh, but yeah, we can turn in materials for the sirloin mental now. So you need one sirloin. That's the main thing we were missing for that, so... And then, yeah, let's see what the sirloin bento does. Uh, boost attack low. So this will do minimum. So let's buy two of these. And let's buy, like, uh, five of these. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Usually sirloin is what I'll use for the most part of the game. Thanks. Thank you. All right, and remember, we're still looking for that girl. She could have been in that shop. You never know. You never know. So we'll talk to everybody, see if they say anything about the missing girl. Okay. seen a missing girl? A line in front of the bookstore. Huh. <laughs> oh, oh. Maybe it was the latest issue of that one book, uh, Purby Sage always talks about. Uh, anyway, let's see. Save point right there. Let's head in here. See if we see maybe someone knows about the missing girl. I don't know. Um, what's up? Step right up. Step right up. Alright, and I think we can turn in a list here. Yeah, the uh, fried chicken. Yeah, so we need two chicken. Two rock salt, two sesame. So uh, there we go. And fried chicken, I think boost defense. So uh, yes, boost, yeah, boost defense by medium. So this is actually really, really good. Um, yeah, you'll notice you'll get the defense uh, bentos a lot easier than the attack ones. So, but you know, feel free to stock up um, or not. You know, you don't have to use bentos. I just, you know, it's a feature of uh, the. Uh, story mode, so I just use them anyway, you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, you know, you might as well, you know, does the little boost here and there matter? Probably not, honestly, but, you know, I just do it anyway, you know, just, um, you know, whatever. Uh, oh, there's a little request symbol, the first, let's see what's in here. Oh, sticky tree set, okay, uh, let's talk to this girl, hi, uh, oh, oh, there we go. Mommy, where are you? Oh, yeah, this is her. Oh, she's crying. Oh, hey, you're the lost kid, right? Uh, who are you? Uh, yeah, your mom asked me to come find you, literally. I'm, yeah, you can trust me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a tune-in. Really? I'm gonna go back to Mommy now. Okay, yeah, let's, yeah, I'll, I'll take you right there, no problem. Okay, so that mission was passed quite easily. Uh, there we go. Aw, don't wander away like that. I was really worried. I, I'm sorry. Now. Oh, oh, that's our show. Now, now, you got her back safe and sound. Believe it. Kids. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for finding her. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, so say thank you to the nice boy. Uh, 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 thank you, Naruto. All right. <laughs> hey, hey, 
don't get lost again, you hear? Believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, another case solved. Easy. There we go. And there we go. We get the... Yeah. We get the... Ooh, you know, punching animation from Naruto. And we get Thousand Rio and two Oban. Which is like money in this game. Oban is like money. So, nice. There we go. Nice little auto save. Okay, we're moving on. We're moving on. Uh, the only thing I didn't check out was the uh, card shop up here. So let's see if they've got any new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I mean Ninja Info cards. Uh, oh, I didn't talk to you either. Uh, oh, Konohamaru. Yeah. I wonder if we'll see him around now that we're back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I didn't mean like a baby, huh? All right. anything we can turn wow. in here. Come on in. Let's see. Yeah, because there's like no order list or anything. There may be some new in, uh, ninja cards though, um, if you're really, really interested in those. Uh, I'm going to save my Rio for now. Thank but, you very uh, much. Thank you, sir. Uh, but it, I will eventually buy all the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh trading cards. I'm sorry, the ninja info cards. So, because that's important for getting an achievement, I think. So, eh, a little later, a little later. Anyway, we're moving on. Um, oh, it's Iruka Sensei. Hey. Hey, Naruto. Yo, did you hear we uh, saved the Kazukage? I helped. Huh? Iruka Sensei? Uh huh. I heard you'd be back from your mission soon. I guess since they're doing the dialogue, this is the perfect time for me to get a drink. So, like, hang on. So, how did it go? <laughs> well. We oh, managed to return okay. Connor to normal somehow, too. I was pretty happy, you know. Okay, I guess it's implied in that little cut, that little blank cut, that uh, Naruto explained everything to Aruka, so yeah. <laughs> uh, what's up, Aruka? Huh? What's wrong? Yeah. Um, I was thinking. I bet ties between the leaf and the sand will grow even stronger now. Yeah, and it's true. Like, I was even talking about that in a few of the episodes, like, and I was like, um, especially when we arrived at the sand village, that, uh, you know, at this, you know, before the Kazekage rescue mission, I mean, the ties weren't, you know, all, they were somewhat strong, you know, because of, like, when they all went to, uh, re uh, retrieve Sasuke, the Sasuke retrieval arc showed, you know, a little bit of, you know, ties between the sand and leaf, but I think they're even, even, even 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 more 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 strongly allied especially i mean we rescued their kazakage or helped you know so that's that's a big favor you know so yeah <laughs> yeah i bet you're right yeah so definitely the sand and leaf are like probably the closest tied vi villages in in the universe in the naruto universe especially after we rescue gara especially after that you know I tell you, the boy just keeps on growing. Ah, Iruka's seeing something beyond, beyond, okay. Okay then, Iruka-sensei, I'm off! Uh, oh, wait, you wanna eat some ramen, Iruka? Alright then. I'll chill with you. Keep doing your best, Naruto. I will, believe it! I will! That's <laughs> just, okay. <laughs> I need to work on my Naruto impersonation voice. I mean, mine's not very good, but uh, anyway, uh, see ya, Ruka. Anything else you have to say? Uh, I have to head back to school and write. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Anyway, um, yeah, you can do a free heal here, and I'm not sure what my characters are looking at yet. You deserve extra noodles for all the good you've done, Naruto. Ah, uh, thanks, Ayame. <laughs> all right. Come on in. All right. But yeah, uh, remember, you can pay 300 to get a full heal. And I don't know what my characters are at, so might as well do this, you know. Uh, yeah. All right. There we go. Thanks for your business. Hey, thank you. And like, I mean, I'm basically simulating the story because we all know Naruto would pig out on some ramen <laughs> after coming back from a long mission. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, it sure did, bro. It sure did. So, anyway, moving on. Uh, hello, who are you? Uh, oh. Oh, it's because I was reading Meg. Uh, 
I'm, I'm periodical. Can't use that as a excuse. Yeah, that's the book I was talking about. It's called, like, Make Out Series or something in the anime. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the book I was talking about. The, you know, the lady was talking about there's a long line. Yeah, 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 you know. Yeah. That's the series I was thinking of. Um, yeah. Maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, the road to Hidden Sand was closed off temporarily. Really? Um, we got in just... Maybe it was closed off um, after we left in order to... Yeah, in order to protect the village. Uh, that kind of makes sense, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 like, uh, stuff went down for real, for real, for real. Uh, oh, the flower shop isn't open. Uh, that's interesting. Anyway, let's head over here. Uh, like I said, we're just checking around the village, you know, just seeing, you know, seeing what's what, seeing if there's any, we might find a new mission, like that little side mission to find the little girl, so, yeah, we're just kind of checking around, you know, seeing what's up. That's the plan for this episode. Uh, oh, okay, 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 Neji, Neji respects me. Oh, we got a nice gift for Neji. Um, sure, I like Neji, sure, sure. For me? Yeah, for you, bro. Uh, okay, Nichi. There you go. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, apparently news has spread, definitely, about our, you know, exploits in the Hidden Sand, which, of course it would, you know. The Kazekage being kidnapped? That's kind of big news, so, yeah. Pretty interesting stuff. Uh, oh, I want to talk to the little girl. Hang on. Uh, 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 you. You, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Become a tune-in. Believe it. Oh, I'm gonna get super strong, just like the fifth Okage. Oh, she looks up to Grandma Tsunade. And, like, that's the good thing about Tsunade being in the village. Like, yeah, all kind of different people can look up to her for different reasons. So, nice to have a new Hokage. Uh, my little brother went to the Ninja Academy. And he keeps saying he wants to be like Naruto with a psycho look in his eyes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, what's so great about this Naruto guy? Anyway, you know, that is hilarious that that's in the game. Have you ever encountered that situation where people are gossiping, you know, openly using your name, but they don't know, you know, what you look like? I've actually had that happen to me before, and it's... It's kind of hilarious because they don't even realize they're insulting you, you know what I mean, right to your face. And then like a week or later or so, they'll learn, they'll be like, oh man, you're that, you know, you know, Flood in Mod 14 everyone's been gossiping about. I'm sorry I said all those bad things. It's just like, uh, right, right, sure you are, you know, I, for, I you know, forgive you, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty, yeah, I've had that happen quite a few times, actually. Uh, chirpy, what? Anyway. But yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty funny dialogue in the game, to be honest. Uh, man, he's still bumming around. When's he getting back? Ah, uh, messages? Huh, maybe we can help send the messages. By the way, I like this outlook of the village. We, I, we, we're never really here that much, but look at this. Look at this view. It looks pretty good. I mean, this game's awesome, man. A lot of detail. And I like the view from the message station. So... Anyway, there's like only a couple areas we haven't checked out yet since we've been back. But like, I don't even think we'll talk to Lady Tsunade in this episode. And that's like one thing you guys should know about watching my LPs is like, um, I'm not like a completionist as far as the side quest and stuff. If a side quest is a little too ridiculous, I won't do it. But like, um, I am kind of, um, like some people will just barrel through the story right away and like only story stuff, story, story, you know, it's an LP, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta get all the story stuff done, no, no. Obviously, I like, if you've watched like any of my LPs, like the ranking challenge, or new video, or like, you know, Donna Destiny, Donna Destiny, it's really, really funny. Look at all these people we can talk to, but Donna Destiny is almost on its 200th episode. So, I mean, that right there ought to tell you, you know, if I wanted to, you know, let's play Donna Quest Destiny really, really quick, I would have just done, you know, the fifth, the, all the triples, and maybe a few single duels, just to, you know, show that it's a feature, and then, Come on in. and then done. I would have been done with that LP, like, you know, a million years ago, so. Oh, we still don't have the materials for these. Oh, we need some wheat. Okay, and some, uh, wheat. We're looking for wheat. Okay. Sorry. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't think, even think we can buy anything here, can we? Come on in. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, we can buy the Shira Tommy. Uh, so there we go. Interesting. I wonder why they why they gatekeep these. Uh, Thank you very much. These Mentos here. I guess they may be, must be considered really good in the game. I don't know. Anyway, kind of weird. Yeah, kind of weird that we can't turn anything in for that yet. General Store Bandai. All right. Got some kunai. What's up? Come on in. Yeah. What's up, bro? Uh, right, right. Now, I think there's, after this, since we've done the first chapter, there is some new, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's probably, like, some new, um, yeah, like, yeah, some new boss scenes, I would imagine. Uh, so, yeah, you can buy those if you want. Um, yeah, I'm good, but, you know, it's, it's a feature in the game. And like I said, I think you do get an achievement for buying all the scenes and all the ninja info cards, so... You want that? Go for it. Or if nothing else, those scenes are good to have because I may actually, you know, now that I think about it, I am doing an LP and normally I don't buy the scenes or show the scenes, but some of the scenes and stuff you can buy show like flashbacks of stuff that happened in part one uh, in R2. So I may actually, yeah, you know, look into this and, you know, buy some scenes and maybe show some, you know, as bonus episodes, you know, just like I was just talking about, I'm not really a speed LP here, and I don't really mind showing, you know, if they, if we have some scenes available to buy from part one, like the, you know, of Naruto versus Sasuke, or like some really cool stuff, yeah, I'd be glad to show it, uh, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, the Hidden Waterfall, oh, interesting, oh, this is Anko, hey, what's up, uh, whew. I need sweets now, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's Konoha Maru. Uh, how come you tore it up on the mission and you're only a in like me? It's not fair. <laughs> uh, all right, Konoha Maru. That's a Misu. Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah. Word is definitely spreading about our ex -plus. Your hair is spiky, but they hurt if I touch it. Ah, oh, that's cute. That's nice, that's nice. Nice little birthday gift for you. Well, happy birthday. Uh, oh, it's Lee, what's up? Uh, race to see who had reached the believer. That sounds like something Lee and Guy would do. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and these the guys are just playing ball back here. <laughs> I wonder what's in here. You're never, I don't think you ever can go in this building, can you? Weird. But they have like, just, just one screen with, uh, like, Lee, usually, so it's weird. I always thought there could be a secret back here, or, like, maybe you could go in here. Huh. I don't think you can, though. Anyways, let's head on out. Let's jump over this person. hi -ya! That's right. That's my ninja way. All right. I think we'll just check out stuff on the next screen, and, uh, yeah, we'll call it an episode, so... <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, there are quite a lot of people in this village. What's up? Oh, it's uh, Asuma Sensei. What's up? Uh, still glad to see you're in One Piece. Whoa, 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 bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. One Piece? That's a completely different anime. <laughs> hey, uh, hey uh, Tim, clip that. Clip it. That'll be good in the short. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Oh, okay, Asuma. Sure. I'll hit you up. What's up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Tin Tin dishing it out how she really feels. Okay. <laughs> uh, what in the world? Bro, bro, touch grass, bro. What? Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I guess let's. Ooh, Pachico Ball. Uh, yeah. All right. We're still recording, right? Okay, we're good. Being a ninja can hurt relationships. Yeah, I can imagine because some like um, uh, missions take like months or years at a time. So yeah, I can imagine it's a struggle. So you know, uh, <laughs> no, it's cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, my friend moved to the hidden sand. I hope she can make new friends. Oh, oh, I see. Oh. Yeah. Um, Aha! You shouldn't be involved with the troublesome situation. But half of your wish shall be fulfilled. Wait, what? Ah, oh, right. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. <laughs> anyway, let's pick up some stuff. 
metal, sweet. And if you can, okay. I think the metals are worth a little bit of money, so that's no. Uh, anyway, I don't think there's anything we can order here, but yeah. I may just want to... Oh, wait, there is. Um, oh, right. Ninja tools. I. Oh, we can do power mochi now. Yeah. So you need three power rice, three beautiful drop, three energy seed. Nice. So we can get power mochi. Uh, exhaustion tag. Okay. Three lazy seed, three roughing, three ninja tag. There you go. Let's just, let's just turn in all of our homework, basically. That's, that's really what we're doing here. Uh, defense breaking tag. Okay. We got some new ninja tools. Arrow piercing army of armor head. Um, I'm gonna see if we need anything else for the arrow piercing armor head um, because we only have four, so I'm not gonna turn this in yet. Um, sluggish tag. Okay, we're good. Three sticky tree sap, three rough ink, three ninja tag. Let's do it. Okay, uh, we're still recording, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, poison tag, sweet. This is actually pretty good. Three poison C, three rough ink, three ninja tag. Let's do it. Oh, sleep. Okay. So we're missing three dreaming seed. Okay. So we, we can't, right. We can't do sleep yet. Kunai rain. Kunai chain. Ooh, so we need, ooh, we have two black gold. I don't remember where we got them from, but um, in between episodes, I might head back to the sand village and see if we came across black gold there. You know, check all the various items around there. And if we do... I'll just kind of let you go, guys know, like, hey, you know, off screen, I went to the Sand Village, got more black gold, and now we got the kunai with rain. All right. So there we go. First kunai. Okay. And yeah, black gold. So we need, like, six black gold, and then we're good. Okay. 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 All right. So, and there's nothing else that needs the uh, uh, armor piercing. So I'll do this. And then, yeah, that'll give us new stuff, new uh, ninja tools. So, yeah, um, uh, let's go down here. And, yeah, we can buy the mochi. Okay. We can buy the, uh, I don't really like the exhaustion tag, but it's available to buy, you know. And uh, I do like defense breaking, and I do like um, sluggish as well. But, yeah, poison is the probably the best tag. And you'll see, yeah, it's at 12,000 rio, so... Yeah, poison's pretty good, so I would recommend this one above anything else, but um, we don't have the Rio for it, so we're going to pass. Um, and yeah, we'll just take those two for now. All right, there we go. Thank you very much. No, 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 thank you. Yeah, so in between episodes, I'll look and head back to the Sand Village and see if we have anything like any jars or whatever, uh, anything that has black gold. Um, yeah, and I'll just check, you know, like I've been checking the various, you know, jars and stuff. I'll do that in the Sand Village off screen in between episodes, like these, you know, I'll, I'll check these in the Sand Village. Um, yeah, that's the plan, so. Uh, anyway, guys, this has just been the, kind of the exploration episode. This is the guy that does the, uh, the thing that I think we've already done. Um... But anyway, uh, we're just going to save right here, guys. Um, yeah, and this was just kind of a more of a, you know, back to the village episode. You know, kind of a vlog-ish, you know, kind of episode. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it. And in between, you know what? Maybe I'll just take you guys with me. It'll be kind of like a bonus episode um, where we go in the sand village. But I do want to cut this episode here. So let's hit no. And I'm going to hit stop here. And then, yeah, when we continue, I'll basically, it'll be a bonus episode where we go to the Sand Village um, and look for black gold. You know, we may or may not find it, but whatever. Uh, yeah, see you guys here in a bit. Bye.